Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Uh, we really appreciate it. The House Republicans are standing here united in, uh, after a present protest vote on the House floor today. Uh, this is a, a, another bill. Here we are, a, a beginning of May, and a bill that just dropped on us at the last minute uh, with no transparency or opportunity for our residents to weigh in. This morning, the amendment was filed out of the blue on a Senate bill. It was assigned to the House Executive Committee for a hearing shortly thereafter, and just a few hours later, it was brought forward for a vote on the House floor. Serious legislators should want to give time to the public to understand the impact on our state. We're used to seeing this kind of maneuvering on May 31st, but we don't understand the sense of urgency right now. Unless the goal, the end goal is to stifle the democratic process through the changes on slating candidates. We are united on providing checks and balances in the much needed state government. The problem this bill, this, that solve, the problem this bill purports to solve could be helped anytime by legitimate legislation that has been brought forward by members of the House, vetted by members of the House, and with our constituents' input. We are for building families. We are for protecting election workers. And we are certainly for property tax relief. But there is something else that we stand for, and that is democracy. This bill takes away the opportunity for us to work together with our counterparts on any number of substantial challenges facing our state. There has been ample time for tax relief. We need to provide families with that relief. But instead, here we are at the beginning of May playing games.